Whoa, big overload right there, folks. But right in the ring, Jesse Barr getting harassed by some of the fans yelling back him. And there's that old dude I was talking about, Tito Carrion, with his prodigy, his wrestling prodigy, Carl Pope in the ring right now. Carl Pope is going to try to wrestle Jesse Barr. He's going to try for all that amateur crap. Even though I like it, it's not going to work on Jesse Barr, I don't think. But we'll see, folks. Whoa, big trick about, trip up by Jesse Barr, but doesn't get him quite on the ground right there. Goes for a leg. He's might going to try. See, I told you he's going to go for that amateur stuff, but I don't think he can wrestle successfully that style against Jesse Barr. But maybe he can. He's got the arm bar playing on the Jesse Barr. Doesn't seem to hurt Jesse Barr all that too much. Right now, Jesse Barr puts, try, whoa, big forearm, another big forearm, maybe a third, yes, may, you gotta try to fire Carl Pope into the ropes, Carl Pope, whoa, big boot right into Jesse Barr's face, Carl Pope, he's pretty good at those amateur stuff, whoa, fires him right over and goes right back, he goes, see what I said it before many times on other shows, Carl Pope picks a move, he picks a body part and he stays with it that whole match, well let's just see if he does it in this match. Jesse Barr complaining to his brother Sean Barr about the move, maybe a hair pull there or something. Jesse Barr pulls the hair of Carl Pope, tries him over for a monkey flip, but that just shows you the power of Carl Pope keeping, keeping him in that move right there. That big side, uh, side suplex. What am I talking about this week, folks? I'm so content on seeing Wrestling Terror 1993 live October 23rd, tw excuse me, 23rd, 29th, 1993. I can't even call the match. Right now, Jesse Bard pulls uh, Carl Pope into the ring right there. He's got a, excuse me, into a ring. I tell you, I'm so sidetracked this week about Wrestling Terror. I'm so excited. If you can remember, you were watching this show. Whoa! Uh, the head soup, uh, scissors right there. Look at this. Look at that. Whoa. Traits of Owen Hart on there. All that the high flying ability. So I said before, October 29th, 1993, Terror rules the ring when Wrestling Terror 1993 explodes on the cable television. Free of charge, you don't have to watch pay-per-view for this one. You don't have to pay 30, 40 bucks to see this one. It's free, Channel 11, October 29th, 1993. Remember, Wrestling Hotline. The Wrestling Hotline will open mid-September. You can call up for information on Wrestling Terror 1993. You can call during the month of October. You can also call after the month of October to still see who won. If you remember Beach Brawl, you remember what a great event that was. Great matches, three non-stop hours of nothing but hard-hitting action. You think I'd change it for this one, folks? Wrestling Terror 93. Three hours of non-stop, grueling, terrifying wrestling action. As I said before, <laughs> Lucifer might even show up and rise off through the middle of the ring. Anything can happen at Wrestling Terror 93. And anything can happen in this match right now with a big... Big knee lift into uh, <laughs> Carl Pope's gut right there. Off to the uh, off the ropes. Check that out. Flip off the ropes. He's really confusing confusing Jesse Barr in this one. He's got him into that arm bar. Goes right back again. Good crowd on for tonight. I swear I wish I could tell you all the matches for Wrestling Terror 93. I wanted to start telling you this week. They haven't even been signed yet. Check out those big elbows by uh, <laughs> Jesse Barr. Whoa, man. Hard hitting match tonight. Good main event. Whoa. See, you can only go to the well once too many times, Carl Pope. You try for that head scissors crap that that old man Tito to carry on tells you to do. You might try to flip up there one day and might find a boot, a, a, yeah, a boot right into your gut as he found out just a couple of uh, goes. You can't, a minute ago, you can't, you cannot fool Jesse Barr. He's been around too long to, to go for that kind of crap. Oh man. That might have hurt one of his legs. He kind of uh, fell right on this, uh, his uh, leg on that one. I'm not sure. Jesse Barr working on every body part he gets. Whoa! Rake of the face. That could, that could rip your eyeball right out the stinking socket. Jesse Barr knows all those dirty tricks. He might not be the greatest amateur wrestler of them all, but he knows a double underhook right here. Oh! Slams him onto the mat right there. That might have, uh, boy took the breath out of Carl Pope for that one. Big leg drop on that one right there, folks. As I said before, Jesse Barr does not like Tito carry on. Look for some kind of uh, altercation in this match. I believe it will happen. Whoa, big kick down. Jesse Barr 
having fun in this match so far. Having great fun in the match. He gets a big old nail on there, right? He gets nailed, Carl Pope. It's not one person, it's another. Nobody ever beats Jesse Barr. Big suplex coming up, maybe. No! Might be a modified version of a backbreaker here. No, doesn't seem want to drop him. Just seems to want to put the apply the pressure to the neck, to the spinal area. Whoa, picks him up, suplex type move, and slams into the mat. If I was Jesse Barr, what you need to do right now is cover, and that's exactly what it does. Right as I was saying, he needs to do something, he actually goes ahead and does it. Jesse Barr knows what, I know what Jesse Barr's thinking. I've broadcasted this guy too long not to know what he's thinking. I know his style of wrestling off the ropes. Whoa, a lariat clothesline. That's what they call me, the lariat. You grab him by the neck and you slam him down. It's a modified version of a clothesline. That's what they call me here down here. They call me a lariat. The lariat, Brian Michael. A cover right here and only gets a two count by Sean Barr. Says it's only a two. Sometimes I think this guy, Sean Barr, gets in the, in the ring uh, in the way too much. Double underhook. He goes in. That's right. Double underhook goes into that, to that abdominal stretch. He's right by the ropes. He might want to be trying to use some of that the leverage to apply the pressure, and that's exactly what he does. Check that out. See the see the arm, the right arm by Jesse Barr used for the leverage. And I mean, come on, Sean Barr. If you see the the ropes wiggling and he's got that kind of a move on him, and he's right by the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. He thinks that Tito carry on, and the outside's been been uh, uh messing with the ropes to see it wiggling. Yeah, see Jesse Barr saying it's Tito, and his stupid brother believes him. Look at that. Boy, he's going to break that arm right off uh, uh, Carl Pope right there, folks. He's going to do it, and he just slams him down. Now he's going to go out and mess around with Tito, or maybe he's just mouthing off at him. I don't like Tito either. I support Jesse Barr right here. I don't know. They're just mouthing off. Jesse Barr mouthing off. He might want to go in there and... Whoa, he's inviting Tito Carry On to come into the ring with him. Maybe he wants to have a little wrestling match of his own here. Whoa, he's saying, get back. Whoa, about to watch out for a big forearm by Carl Pope. Ooh, right hand goes back for him. Another right hand by Jesse Barr. Forearm, right hand, forearm. Jesse Barr, whoa, another forearm. Jesse Barr getting nailed in this one, folks. Off the ropes. Big forearm nails Jesse Barr to the to the mat. This might be it. I hope Jesse Barr doesn't get hurt. But before wrestling Terror 93, you know he'll be in one of those big main events. Over. Big arm drag onto the ring. Now he's gonna mess around with Tito Carry On. Look at that. He puts Tito Carry On mouthing off right him in the face. That old man can't match up to this young dude. Ooh, a nice big push there. But Carl Pope gets down to the to the. The concrete, and there might be a big fight on the concrete right here. Big right hands, big forearms. He must, the, the only way he's going to win is to put him back in the, ro in the ring, and that's exactly what he does. But don't put, n put nothing past Jesse Barr. Big slingshot move. This might be it. See, that was a bad move on Carl Pope's part. Or he should have pinned him. That, that move might have just knocked the crap out of him. Off the ropes. Jesse Barr going in for it, coming back out to it. Big belly back suplex right there. One. Two, and only gets a, puts his foot on the ropes. Jesse Barr knows all, he knows all the tricks, and he knows all the ways you can get out of holes, and that is one of them right there. Big suplex coming up by uh, Carl Pope, and he, will he get it? Yes, I believe he does. A big cover here. Two. Oh, barely gets out for that one, folks. He barely gets out. Maybe a sunset flip. No, big slam coming up. And he's going to get it, yes. Hard mat to be slammed on, especially when you're the size of Jesse Barr. Carl Pope climbs to the top of the ropes. Is he going to try that move? I don't like the looks of this. He might not even hit on here. Whoa, I told you he wouldn't hit it. Gets slammed right, in his, right on his face in the mat, and Sean Barr gets nailed to it in the process. Jesse Barr goes back with big kicks. I told you, I told you, I told you. Sean Barr... He always gets in the way. Whoa, big slam cut up here. No, no. Small package in the middle of the ring. Small package in the middle of the ring, and Sean Barr's out. All right. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sean Barr, he's, you can still pin him right now. One, two. Sean Barr gets up, and he only gets a two count. Boy, Jesse Barr's lucky on that one.
I thought that, that Carl Pope was out, but he just gave him a big right hand right into the, uh, boy, right into the neck there. Big boot to the side of the face. Jesse Barr might be going out to get his favorite old chair, and I believe that's what he's doing. The chair even has Jesse Barr's old name on it. Jesse Barr coming into the rope, slides the chair in. I don't know what he's going to do, folks. He's going to try to put an end to Carl Pope. That's what he's going to do. Just try, try to put an end to Bruiser Brian. He's going to put him, slides him right through, and he might want to put him onto a big old pile driver. This might, this could crack his head open if he nails this one. Drop him, Jesse. Drop him. Uh-oh, somebody's in there. Jim Pope. Jim Pope. Big drop kick right there. Oh no! Oh, oh! He nails it. Jesse Barr gets hit right on the side, uh, right on the uh, the end of that uh, chair right there. Big double clothesline, and Sean Barr gets the head of Jesse Barr rammed into his leg. Jesse Barr outnumbered here. I wouldn't be surprised if you see the pack run down the ring. That Punk Tito carry on on the outside. Those two Pope brothers. I hate these Pope brothers. I'll be glad when they go to Japan. Right there, Lou Andrews and Dane Rush come to the aid of Jesse Barr. They didn't get there a little earlier. They might be able to double team those two Pope brothers. I hate them. They're leaving to Japan. This might be the next, the last time you see these two punks on my show, and I'm glad if it will be. Next week, the new media review. I'll take a look at the way professional wrestling is viewed on television. Two bone crunching matches and Wrestling Terror 93 info. You want to check it out. Until then, if the right one don't get you, the left one will. Lovely ladies and a million miles. And until next time, woo! This is Lariat Brian Michael. See you. See ya.